Welcome to our lecture online. Let's take another look at that unit normal vector and then with an example of how to find it. First of all, we recognize that the unit tangent vector was a vector of unit length equal to 1 in the same direction as the derivative of the position vector, which represented the velocity of a particle if we assume the parametric variable was equal to time. And then we also saw that we can define the unit tangent vector as a function of the angle phi, which is defined as the angle from the positive x direction to the direction of the unit tangent vector. And so we could write this as the cosine of the angle phi in the i direction plus the sine of the angle phi in the j direction, the f, of course, the x in the y direction. So if we define the cosine of phi as a function of phi, f of phi, and the sine of phi as a different function of phi, g of phi, then when we take a look at it, when we define the unit normal vector, we simply add it pi over 2 or 90 degrees to the angle, and then we can define the x component as the cosine of the angle plus 90 degrees, and the y component as the sine of the angle plus 90 degrees, and then when we realize that the cosine of the angle plus 90 degrees can be defined as the negative sine of the angle, and that the sine of the angle plus 90 degrees can be defined as the cosine of the angle, and then if we compare that to the way we define the unit tangent vector, notice that the x component becomes the negative of the y component here, and the y component becomes the x component, or the y component is equal to the x component here. So if we compare the x and y components of the normal vector to the x and y components of the tangent vector, or I should say the unit normal vector and the unit tangent vector, notice that the x component of the unit normal vector is the same as the negative of the y component of the unit tangent vector, and the y component of the unit normal vector is the same as the x component of the unit tangent vector. In other words, if this is defined as f of the angle and this is defined as g of the angle, then you can say that the normal vector or the unit normal vector is the negative of the g function plus in the x direction plus the function here, or I should say, well, let me try that again. So finally what we can say is and that the f function the is simply the replacement. Ah, I didn't say that right. Let's try to do that again. So finally, <laughs> If we want to define the unit normal vector, notice we take the y component of the unit tangent vector and we make that the x component of the unit normal vector, except we make it negative, and we take the x component of the unit tangent vector and make that the y component of the unit normal vector. All right, now that we have that straight, I hope so, let's now use an example. We're going to find the unit normal vector when R, the position vector, is defined as t squared in the i direction plus 3t in the j direction. Hmm, we've seen that one before, but it's a good example. Let's go ahead and use it. All right, so first to find the unit tangent vector, we have to take the derivative and divide it by the magnitude. So when we do it like this, so the unit tangent vector is equal to the derivative of this, which is 2t in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction divided by the magnitude of that, which would be the square root of 4t squared plus 9. So I'm squaring this term here, I'm squaring that term there, that's a magnitude. So this is now what we would call the, the unit tangent vector of that position vector. Hmm. Next, what we should do is we should evaluate it at some value for t. So let's go ahead and evaluate it for t equals to 2, for example. So now we have the unit tangent vector when t is equal to 2. When we do that, we get 4 in the i direction. So this is equal to 4 in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction divided by, and notice that this would be 4 times 4, which is 16, plus 9, which is 25. That would be the square root of 25, which is 5. And so finally, the unit tangent vector, when t is equal to 2 in this case, would be equal to 0 0.8 in the i direction plus 0 0.6 in the j direction. So now we have the unit tangent vector evaluated, or the unit tangent vector for this uh, position vector evaluated when t is equal to 2. Now, the corresponding 
unit normal vector can be found by using this technique right here. So we can say that the unit normal vector, when t is equal to 2, is equal to the x component becomes the negative of the y component of this. So that would be negative 0.6 in the i direction, and the y component is the same as the x component of this, so it would be plus 0.8 in the j direction. And so this can then very easily be figured out. The unit normal vector can be fi figured out by taking the y component of the unit tangent vector and making it the negative x component of the unit normal vector. We take the x component of the tangent vector and making it the y component of the normal unit vector. And that's how it's done.